Hello. Hello. Where are we going to, babe? My dad's house. Yes. It's been a very long time since we've been able to ride bikes um, because. Explain what you mean, because they're thinking bicycle. Oh, not bicycle, a motor. Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Um, because we just haven't been able to fix up Carrie's bike. Not fix it up. It needs a new battery and to be registered and inspected, and I need to renew insurance on it. Yeah. It works. It just needs a new battery. Yeah. And so we just haven't been able to do that. And, um, you know, because it, it's a good chunk of change to do. Yeah. So it's been a very long time since we've ridden on the bike. I ride bitch, which is on the back seat. On the back seat. I don't drive. But I just absolutely love it. I was against it my whole... And, whoa! That was bouncy. Against it my whole entire life. And I've ridden my whole entire life. Since I was three years old on the back with my dad. We're actually on the front. In, like in between him and the tank when I was a little bitty. I had a silver helmet that had glitter all in it. A, glitter, a silver glittery helmet. Since I was three years old, I've always ridden it my whole life. And I was just always against it. Because... Um, my cousin, when I was real young, almost died from a car, from a car, from a motorcycle accident. And, um, so, yeah, I've just been a little scared, but Carrie is one of those motorcycle drivers that as soon as you get on the bike, you feel really, really safe. You can tell that she's just, she's really, really aware and safe when she's driving. So, yeah, um, I would like to live to ride again. I'm not... I'm not riding to get some adrenaline rush fix that could cost me my life, like some of these crazy jerk-offs do, doing 100 miles an hour down the highway, in and out of traffic, and popping wheelies and all that crap. Yeah, there's enough thrill in just and the just ride. just being on the ride. Yeah. You'll see what I mean when you hear us fire it up. Yeah. And I ride a cruiser. Uh, I have a Honda Shadow 750 at my house, our house. And then my uncle that uh, passed away a couple years ago uh, has a, VT, a Honda VTX 1300 uh, retro jet black custom pipes. My dad, it was my dad's bike first, he sold it to my uncle. My dad put Vance Hines pipes on it. My uncle um, toured it up so it's got saddlebags and a sissy rack and all that stuff on it. So a uh, quick release windshield, floorboards, you name it. Uh, to make it comfortable and super fancy, so we're gonna. That's the one we're gonna go ride today. And I'm excited! I, I like riding in the day, but I love to ride at night. There is nothing like riding at night. It's just like, why is that? It's, it feels like you're floating because you can't see anything. And it's cooler and, and it's, it's free. free. And all there's the not, lights are so much pretty. Traffic and, and in Dallas, the lights are at night are just gorgeous anyway, so it's really fun. So maybe we'll be able to take it out again in the nighttime soon. Yeah, um, but anyway, so that's where we are headed. And um, yeah, so we're looking good. Oh, yeah, look, I painted my nails. Do you like? I did a French manicure all by myself. Chewing key lime pie gum. I know, key lime pie gum. Oh my god, okay, where is it? It's from Extra. Key lime pie gum. Yeah, I was nervous about it, but it's good. Wouldn't that be awesome if Extra saw this and they gave us a lifetime Yeah, I wasn't lying. I'm not nervous about it. She said, I bought key lime pie gum. I said, let's try it. I know, and I was, was just good. like, that's going to be weird. I have to try it, but that's going to be gross. I mean, I'm chewing gum and I'm not eating it. It's a dessert. What? weird. It's fabulous. Yeah, I feel like I'm on Charlie and the chocolate factory. Chocolate factory. I feel like I'm at the beach. Because I'm like, I taste the lime. I you taste, can taste the, the crust. Whip, you can taste the whipped cream. You taste the whipped cream. You know that part where she tastes all of the, like, five-course meals? And, oh, yeah, chewing the gum. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Anyways, if you have not tried this dessert gum, I do not like apple, so I'm not going to try the apple pie. But this is so good. It's crazy. So good. Anyways, you should try it. Okay, guys. I'm so excited. All right, so this is the bike we're riding today. And that's Carrie's Pops. <laughs> Nephew Tyler. You excited, Carrie? I'm pop. That's a 
plane. Medical plane. Here she goes! No, Gary! Woohoo! She's just taking it for a spin so it revs up the engine and making sure that it's going good. Now Carrie is, Carrie's dad is riding the bike, taking it for a spin and she's coming back. How was it? I gotta have that bike. I don't know what we're gonna have to do to get it to me, but I'll sell my white one and buy that one from him. I have to have it. <laughs> it sounds great. It feels great. Arr, 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 arr. headed to get the motorcycle inspected and there's Carrie Honda. having a fun time riding the bike. Hey. How was it? <sighs> Heaven on earth. <laughs> Fantastic. Good. I don't even know if I can see your face because the sun's Perfect. so bright. Perfect. Let's go look at new motorcycles. <laughs> We're at the Honda service shop. <laughs> And look, we're going to look at boats and bicycles. Look how cool this retro Honda bike is. That's like awesome. Carrie wants this bike. And I have to, I have to say that um, I think this is pretty funny that there is this rigged up guy on a tiny little Vespa <laughs> here at the shop. That's the gear you need to ride on a Vespa. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Carrie's in hog heaven right now. Aren't you, Carrie? You're in hog heaven right now? I love Chinese now. I absolutely love it. Absolutely she love just it. sat on that blue one. Mm -hmm. And Tyler sat on one. I'll try to post a picture. I'm not for sure if I can on um, video on my phone. I know, I don't know why there's Yamahas yeah, here because it's a the, Honda they shop. They bought out the Yamaha place down the street and merged it. Look at that. Ooh, I have to show them the um, Batman one. Here's the Batman one. Here's the Batman one. It looks like a Batmobile. Look at this. Batmobile. Does it look like a Batman bicycle to you guys? It does to me. These things are humongous. Bye bye, Batman. So, yeah, we're having a good time looking at all the bikes. You see that silver bike up there? Ooh, that's what my dad used to drive. Really? That's a little that's dirt bike. That's cool. Huh? A little cool, like, little dirt bike. retro old one, huh? Racing bikes up here. What's that one with the big wheels? Why is that's that a trike? Such big wheels? It's a, it's like a primitive ATV. Yeah. Oh. There's no light here. It's like all the others. You're absolutely right. Do you know what that is? It's exhaust. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. This is just like the yellow guys that drive with his lights flash. So Carrie's dad said that it would be safer for me not to ride on it today because she hasn't ridden in a while and the bike hasn't been ridden in a while, so it's safer not for me to. And I'm sad. I know that's childish of me, but I'm so sad you guys don't even understand how awesome it feels to ride, and I miss it so much, and I can't even do it, so we're headed back to where he keeps it at, where he keeps the airplane at his, whatever it's called, 
that I can't do it. And I'm not gonna lie. I got teared up when I found out. It sucks. Hey guys, so we just got home from the motorcycle madness and uh, see my tan line. You see, can you see it? <laughs> I would. Can you see it on my arm? I don't know. It was a very sunny day in Dallas. It was fabulous. I'm jealous. I couldn't ride, but just a little bit when we got back to her dad's hangar um, for about 30 seconds. I can't wait. So Carrie looks okay because she has glasses and a hat on. I'm just like wide open ugliness. We'll my hair looks. Let's play fair. Oh my God, no! Let's not play fair. We're not gonna show that until she was a hang on. Oh dear, <laughs> that is not fair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love you. Babe, your hair was mashed down. Well, let me... I've had a hat on all day, and when I put the helmet on, I turned my hat around backwards, and I put the helmet on top of it, because I was wearing my uncle's helmet, and his head is bigger than mine, and that way it didn't wiggle around on my head. Her hair looks like that, no matter what, it's what hat she wears. Anyway, so after that, we went straight home, because I had a meet and greet for my job, my dog vacay.com job. Um... So they could see the house and meet the dogs and, you know, see if we're okay people and everything. So that was cool. And then... We um, fooled them. <laughs> whatever. We are cool. Um, so, um, with Faith, I don't know if you guys know, it's the dog that I rescued that um, Tobias decided that he want. He um, decided this morning that in her best interest... Um, if we found it would be better if we found her a, di a, a different home a more established home. yeah because you know he's new he hasn't found an apartment yet he has to save up for that um he'll be working probably two jobs and there's a doing, lot of gay dallas to see here yeah he'll be going out and he's single he's single he doesn't have friends here besides like a couple yeah. so he's going to be having a lot of fun um and he wants to he, he needs should. to he yeah. should it's a fun place um so you know and he'll be doing drag and things like that and um and he's 22 he needs to have fun and having a dog will definitely tie you down well especially a puppy it's like having a baby at home yeah so it was hard for him and emotional but he made a good decision he made a really difficult heart stopping gut-wrenching kind of decision to let her have a, a more established home yes um oops i think that was facing the curtain when you were talking <laughs> it's okay they can hear my voice disembodied <laughs> voice um so uh at the same time or right after tobias said told me that he wanted to have her when i rescued her that day uh, my friend bianca that i used to work with is such a sweetheart uh, and they've been trying to look for a dog um for months for months i mean i don't trying to find know the how right long. perfect yeah match and um, uh, she showed interest, and she sent me a text um, and a Facebook message saying that she, you know, they're interested, they want to come see her, and I unfortunately had to say, you know, she already has a home. Um, and at that moment, it wasn't necessarily for sure, but it wasn't going to take her away from Tobias when Tobias said that he wanted her. So I said, you know, keep your, keep your options open. It's not a for sure thing. I'll let you know. Um, if he, you know, changes his mind, if he wants her or doesn't want her or not. Well, I never told her anything different, um, when he decided he wanted her. Um, so then I just sent her a text message. They came over and they visited with Faith, fell in love with her instantly. Oh, yeah. I don't think that they really had planned to take her home tonight. I don't know. But I mentioned it. As same. soon as Jason saw her, it was a done deal. Yeah. He tried to make it look like it was Bianca's decision, but he already knew he was taking her home. <laughs> and Bianca <laughs> fell in love. <gasps> fell in love. Yeah, they love. were a perfect match. Oh, my goodness. What a good little family that they're all going to be now. They look so freaking cute together. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so good. And, um, you know, I just want to reassure Tobias that it'll be, it's a good family. Oh yeah. He's done. He's did. He did good. He did the right, the right thing. Yes. For her, for the, for Faith. Yes. So, and we don't know what they're going to name her. 
They're creative people. There's no so telling. So there's no telling what Jason, the name will be. there is no telling. <laughs> what did Jason say? Did he wanted to name her? I don't think what I did can. What did he say? I don't think I can repeat it on yeah. YouTube. Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't so think so. So silly. So silly. I know. But anyway, so that was our day. And we're going to miss her. And we got emotional because oh. she's so easy to get attached to. She's a she's just a little she's, four-legged ball of love. I know. And she's such a sweet angel. And, oh. But anyways, I'm so happy that she's that she has a good home. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we had a snack. We're gonna watch. So you think you can dance? Dance, dance. And end our evening. Mm-hmm. Yes. Horton's already done. He's snoring. Yeah. I think every video we end it with this. So I'm just gonna do that. Bye guys. We love you. Can you hear him snoring? Let it trail out with a couple snores. He stopped. Oh, no. Eyes open. That's a tongue. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Kush kiss? Come get in your spot, baby. Come on. No? Okay. Here she comes. All right. Come on. No? Okay. Well.